And so they believe that there's a 30% vaccine efficacy for the booster shot. But as part of the paper, they showed figure two. And figure two says, hey, if everybody, if we start looking at a group of 51,000 employees of the Cleveland Clinic spread throughout the country, and we look at the number of vaccine doses that they have, that the risk of them being infected actually increases for every single dose of the vaccine that they get. You get one dose. If you're unvaccinated, you're less likely to get COVID. If you have one dose, you're more likely to get COVID. You have two doses, you're way more likely to get COVID. Three doses, way. and they showed this consistently over a 90-day observation period for the 51,000 people. And they're all divided into different groups. It's all working age healthcare workers, not people who are sick in the hospital. These are employees of the Cleveland Clinic. And they basically measured, well, you know, how, how does their vaccination status impact their risk of getting COVID? And they found the opposite of what we were being told. The precise opposite, because we were told, oh, you get more vaccine doses, you're gonna be less likely to be infected. That wasn't the case at all. It was completely opposite of the narrative. And this is why when this paper was put out on a preprint server, it's never somehow made it into the published literature to let people know, yes, it passed peer review. It is totally counter narrative. And it also showed in figure one that if you got infected, that the more recently you were infected, the more protective it is, which totally makes sense, right? This is, we've known that for years. If you got infected with a recent variant, you're not gonna get infected with that variant again. It's very unlikely. If you got infected with the original uh, variant, you're much more likely to be infected. And if you haven't been infected at all, you're more likely to be infected. So that's based on the infection status. So the point is that infections, natural infections are protective. Exactly what people have been saying. But figure two looked at your vaccination status and it was the precise opposite of what people expected. And so this is why it's so devastating is because it's counter narrative and because nobody, nobody has been able to explain how that could possibly happen if the vaccines are truly reducing your risk of getting COVID. And that's the big problem.